hello, hello, everybody. So happy to be jumping on. Um, yeah, what's up? It has been so long. No, it's been like a week. I'm always doing live Facebook videos, and um, first thing I say when I jump on is like, hey, it's been forever. Hi, how are you? No, it has not been forever, but that's for some reason what I say. So, hey guys, welcome to my Facebook page. So excited to be jumping on this live video, as of always. Um, today, I want to talk about manifesting what you are hungry for in your life. Hello, Golnaz, Chrissy, so excited to see you guys jumping on. Ooh, this is juicy. You guys are so super hungry for the manifesting tips. Cassie, oh my God, holy crap, got so many people. Maria, Maria's jumping on this video right now, and like, she does not need to. Maria has been... Um, one of the biggest pros when it comes to manifesting um, of any of my clients that I've had. So I wanted to share some of the knowledge and resources and tools that I have for manifesting what you're hungry for because oftentimes when I take on a one-on-one -on -one client or when they join one of my programs, first thing they say is, I want something and I don't know how to get it, right? And that's why they're hiring a coach. They're hungry for change. They're hungry for getting something in their life. And for some reason, they're not achieving it. So... Today I want to talk about that. I want to give you guys as much as I can in like 10-15 minutes of a call to really break down for you the system of manifesting. So um, everyone knows the secret, right? Give me a like or give me a heart if you know about the secret, you've followed the secret. Yeah, <laughs> Golmas is like, I have a vision board. Yeah, um, the secret is really this such a beautiful gift to um the non-spiritual community of the world because it really opened up everybody's eyes to the idea of wow we can get something that we want in our lives we don't have to stay hungry for it we don't have to wait on the sidelines we don't need to just sit and pray and hope and hope or work our butts off and it kind of gave this impression that like you can sit back relax and get what you want as long as you're thinking about it your dreams will come true right this is not really true i mean it's part it's a part of the piece. It's like a small piece of the puzzle here. Um, but there are these really other important things to manifesting. So first, let's dive into the topic of what is manifesting. Manifesting is the ability to create and um, obtain your goals and your dreams and your desires with this. Just with this. Okay. Now, sure, you might have to do some other stuff. You've got to show up but manifesting is the idea that you can essentially get anything you want in your life. If it's humanly possible, you can achieve it. And I love manifesting. It's so awesome. It is one of the greatest gifts. This room that I'm standing in right now, I manifested. Okay, short story, I'll tell you. Um, Matt and I moved to Connecticut uh, about two years ago to shop for a home. And we spent a full year looking for houses. And every house we saw was not what I had in my brain. I had pictured this loft, I always wanted a loft, a fireplace, I always wanted a fireplace, and this gorgeous library, which you guys are standing on right now, on this little shelf. You can't see it, but it's here. So I had this picture in my brain of what I wanted, and for the longest time it wasn't coming to me. I couldn't get it, I couldn't achieve it. And um, I manifested it, and I remember walking into this house for the first time, seeing the red door, which was a big other part of what I envisioned, um, and I walked in and I started to cry. And Matt's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, what's what's wrong with you? You're embarrassing me as a realtor. I'm like, oh my God, this is our house. I'm like, so, oh my God, it's so beautiful. This is our home. And everyone's looking at me like I'm batshit. But the truth is I had created this clear, this crystal clear vision in my head for what I wanted for our home. And here it is, high ceilings, another part. It was almost like I made this checklist and when I went around this house, it had everything. It had everything that I wanted on that checklist. So what did I do right here? Number one, I got specific about what I wanted. So let's talk about this because law of attraction is this really beautiful thing where if you focus your mind on what you want, you will achieve it. The mistake that people make is that your brain does not know the difference between something that really happened and something that didn't happen. And it also doesn't know the difference between good focus and bad focus. So this is why if you are so constantly obsessed, hey Kim, oh Patsy's on too, oh this is awesome. So if you're constantly obsessed with um, avoiding debt and you keep saying to yourself, I don't wanna be broke, I don't wanna be broke, I don't wanna be broke. Well your brain doesn't know the difference between 
what you don't want or what you want. If you're paying attention to it, it's going to bring it into your life. So this is why people who are dramatic always attract drama. It's why people who have crazy problems in their lives continue to have crazy problems in their lives because they're so, so focused on their current state. Now, debt, if you guys have not heard me talk about financial struggles and, and what I was, I didn't have a place to live at one point. I was struggling financially. My ex, my former relationship robbed me of everything I had and I had to start over. And it was really, really hard. And now I'm in this place of financial abundance that I'm so truly grateful for. But it didn't come because I was so wrapped up in the debt. It came because I started to look forward. And I said, okay, well, here I am now. Like, okay, great. Like, I am where I am right now. Where do I want to be? And I got crystal clear about my goals. So the first thing I would tell any of you guys if you're trying to manifest anything in your life, whether it's a new relationship or a healthy body or financial abundance or something small like uh, receiving a book or a crystal or a gift or a surprise. I mean, I don't know what the hell it is that you've got going on in your brain. Why don't we hold ourselves accountable? There are 13 people, 14 people on this video. I want you to post in the comments something that you're trying to manifest right now. Give it to me, girl. Let me hear it. What are you trying to manifest so that I can help you achieve that goal? So your first thing is you got to identify what you want, not what you don't want. And a lot of us spend so, so much time focused on what we don't want. We say to ourselves, well, I don't want to be fat. I don't want to be tired. I don't want to be achy. I don't want to feel uncomfortable in my jeans um, or our finances. I don't want to be broke. I don't want to be hounded by debt collectors. I don't want to be um, aggressively chasing my wealth. Okay. Ooh, Nicole says she wants a 20,000 Academy launch. Fucking rocket, Nicole. That's amazing. I love that. Chrissy wants a job. Amelia wants to redo her office. Yeah, Amelia, awesome. Nicole, $20,000. Okay, so we're getting specific about what we want. I like that Nicole is saying she knows what she wants and she has a means to get it. So she wants to make $20,000 and she wants it to be with this Academy launch, which is really super cool. Um, Maria, perfect example. Maria wants a Jeep, but she doesn't want to pay for that Jeep. She wants to manifest that Jeep without having to pay a dime of her money. Okay, so we're getting specific about what we want and we're also getting specific about how we are going to achieve it. Now here's the catch guys. Oftentimes the universe does not know or give a shit about what you think your pathway to success is going to be. It's great to have a pathway. It's important to have a path because that's where you're starting, right? So Maria is saying, well, I don't want to pay for this Jeep and I'm going to do this. Um, this contest that's giving away the free Jeep, the perfect car I want, and that's going to be my pathway to achieve what I want. The universe don't care what your pathway is, okay? It's got bigger, bigger plans for you, but you need to first take that step in identifying a starting point. So, um, like Nicole was saying about her 20K launch, she wants to make $20,000 in a launch. Really awesome. Amazing. Is it going to be this launch? Is it going to be the next launch? Is it going to be, you know... $20,000 in a totally different way that you've never expected. So oftentimes we get really wrapped up in the vehicle of getting ourselves where we want to be rather than the goal of what we want and where we want to be. See, the vehicle doesn't matter. So I'll give you an example. For uh, quite a while when I was running my courses and what is perfection.com and I was doing all these blog posts and I was exhausting myself trying to get people into courses. I'm talking like last year, very beginning. I was struggling to make the financial numbers that I wanted to meet, and it was really, really hard for me. So um, I created a vehicle. I said, you know what, like Nicole, it's like I'm gonna get a 20, a 20K launch, and this is gonna be the way I'm gonna make $20,000, and it's this pathway, and I was so narrow about it. And what ended up happening was I made $20,000, but it wasn't in that pathway. It was in an even more beautiful way, using multiple courses, using one-on-one -on -one coaching, using um, direct sales, and then that 20,000 turned into much bigger, um, more abundant numbers. So here's the point, guys. The universe doesn't really care about what your pathway is. If you can just focus on what you want and get specific on what you want and start at a point, some sort of path, you got to take action. You can't just sit there. So starting on some sort of pathway is great, but really open yourself up to the idea that the universe is universe is going to be taking you on some detours along that way. It's never going to be a straight shot. It's going to take you on this whole whirlwind of an adventure to get what you really want. And then it's going to be even more worth it. 
So um, here's what I say when it comes to manifesting. You gotta get specific about you, what you want. You gotta have a vehicle when you start, but be open to getting out of that vehicle. Okay, taking different directions or detours. The other thing I would say is that it's not just about the goal, it's about the feeling attached to the goal. So what that means is if you're so focused on what you want and you're saying to yourself, well, I want $20,000, well, why? Why? What is that 20K gonna do for you? Is it going to create financial freedom? Is it going to allow you to go on a vacation and um, embrace more adventure in your life? Is it going to allow you the opportunity to experience more love and connection with people? Sorry, I'm looking at a bird in the rear view while <laughs> well, I'm talking to you guys. Um, you know, what is this gonna offer you? The emotional connection to what you're trying to achieve is even more important than what you are actually trying to achieve because it's the whole fucking point. So if you're not going after something and you don't have a clear understanding of the emotion that you have attached to it, you're not gonna get that thing. It's not gonna happen because who cares, right? If there's no emotional attachment to your goals, you're never gonna make these goals happen. So here's what I say to everybody. Get specific on the goal and get specific about the emotion. So one thing you can do to make this happen is get out your journal. You guys are standing in my meditation space every day. I get into this little chair over here. I do some deep meditation work in front of my lovely Buddha. And then I grab my journal after my meditation, hold on to my crystals, diffuse essential oils, and I journal for about an hour. That's what I do every day. And when I sit there with that journal, I'm not just focusing on what happened yesterday. First of all, I don't put anything negative in my journal, guys. If something negative happened, I move on from it. I embrace the lesson and I move forward. I am not giving my energy to something negative because it's only going to bring more negativity into my life. So you guys got to get rid of that. So when you sit with your journal, start asking yourself, what is life going to be like when you achieve this goal? So write that down. What will life be like when I achieve this goal? What type of person will I be able to be when I achieve this goal? What will my relationships be like or how will they improve when I reach this goal? What will my relationship with myself be when I reach this goal? So by asking yourself these questions, you're going to get so, so hungry and excited and lit up and full of what it is you're trying to accomplish. But it only starts with asking yourself those questions. And our minds go a mile a minute. Now here's why I talk about um, journaling and why it's so, so important um, in the process of manifesting. It's because our brains go so fast that we can so easily slip into the negative. And for all of us who have been struggling to manifest what we want or achieve what we want, you gotta slow that brain down. You gotta slow it down, you gotta got get it focused on the subconscious, because your subconscious is where all of this stuff gets created. If you guys ever have synchronicity in your life, if you saw my post you know, a couple of days ago, um, I posted about synchronicity and how it's really weird where I'll be thinking about a friend and she'll call out of the blue, somebody I haven't talked to for forever. Or I'll say to myself, oh, I really need to get a pair of Apple headphones and I uh, don't want to go to the store because I'm lazy, so I just, I really need Apple headphones because mine broke. And then Matt comes home with a new phone from work and it comes with free headphones that he can't use because his ears are too small. I manifested that shit. That's amazing. And you got to celebrate the little manifestations along with the big manifestations too. Because you can't achieve the big stuff if you're not playing the small game. It's like a... Uh, I don't know, it's like working on um, lifting weights, right? You don't go in right off the bat and lift 250 pounds. you got to start small. So starting with those small milestones and then working yourself up to achieve whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. But you got to do the work of slowing your brain down. And the subconscious is where all of that stuff lives, where your dreams, your hopes, your desires, that's where all that stuff's lingering, just waiting to be unleashed. So you need to sit down and do the journal work do the meditation, get some oils, get some crystals, do whatever it is that you feel is going to influence your spiritual practice. Because if you don't have a spiritual practice, all of this stuff is pointless. So I have a client, Brie, if she's gonna watch this, she's gonna laugh. My client, Brie, is telling me right now, she has such a hard time focusing on believing in things she doesn't see. And she's very wrapped up in the fact, well, I'm here and I see Buddha over there and I see that money tree over there, but that's about it. 
right? I don't see, I don't believe in spirit. I don't believe in manifesting. I, she has such a hard time connecting to what she can't see. And so here's what I say to that. Focus on a feeling or an emotion that you're really comfortable experiencing, whether it's anger, aggression, depression, um, happiness, love, um, with a specific person, right? So think of somebody you hate, think of somebody you love, think of somebody you get so angry at. You know, if you can experience that emotion at full capacity, you can't see that. You can't see that emotion. You have no idea what it looks like or what it sounds like, but you can experience it with all of your body, right? Because it fuels you. That's how you have to feel targeted towards what you're trying to achieve and in a positive way. So if you're trying to fill your cup up to feel that abundance and positivity and you have absolutely no idea how to do it because you can't see what you're trying to achieve, think about this. Every single thing that is happening to you right now is a reflection of the past. I'm standing in a house that I bought in the past. I'm the weight I am now because of what foods I ate in the past. My bank account shows a number that is based off of decisions that I have made in the past. So at any given moment, your, your body, your mind, your being, where you are right now, it's not in the present. It's, it's a... It's an all-encompassed, um, I guess the word I want to use is like photograph or memory or artifact. It's an artifact of all the choices that you've made that have led you up until this point. So you've got to start thinking bigger and you've got to start looking elsewhere. Look outside of where you are now to start envisioning the future, if that makes sense. Okay? So get out your journals. Start asking yourself those questions. Dig deep. Do the work and start manifesting what you want. It's really that easy. Set some goals. And Bob Proctor, um, one of the greatest quotes I've read recently, Bob Proctor, I'm going to his, his event in October in Los Angeles. Um, he says, if you write down a goal and you're not asking yourself, how the hell am I going to do this? It's not worth doing. You should feel like it's impossible. You should feel like it's challenging. You should get excited about it and feel overwhelmed because those, those are the goals that are going to push you into being the human being that you always deserve to be. So you got to stretch yourself. Believe it's possible. Start manifesting your shit. Start going after what it is you want. And stop living in fear of the past. And stop living in the past. Move forward. You got this. All right. I'm going to hit the road. I have some clients to work with today. I think I want to go to the bookstore and pick out the WIP Tribe new book of the month because June is fast approaching. So this month we read Dark Side of the Light Chasers. Next month, next month will be a surprise. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.